Hello everyone. Welcome back to part two of, I know this is the forest book, but I better look again, Enchanted Forest. <laughs> the beginning of the last one, I thought it was in uh, a different book. My light's in a little bit of a peculiar spot. But we are going to finish up these two pages. We started on our bunny on the last one. We did the stencils. We worked a little bit on our hedgehog. But now we're going to work more on our, our bunny. I did um, color him in using the same colors I did on our little hedgehog. So this these two pages are going to look like one big page. And I did do his ears. I still need to work a little bit on them. I was trying to make him look fuzzy, but I'm not sure he did. But you know what? He's okay, right? I like him. That's That's the main thing. So I need to do his eye, his nose. I left this back foot to kind of show you um, the colors that I used. So I just filled in with um, the Sierra Beige 1080. I just lightly colored in um, his foot. I think that's two toes. I don't think it's two feet. I think it's his toes. So then I took the red um, burnt okra, which has uh, red in it too, and I just went over the top of it especially around the edges to start with, just lightly. I'm just filling in um, to kind of smooth it together. I've watched a couple videos on making hair and it's a very long process so I think um, unless I'm doing a picture, like something you would frame or something, I'm I'm not into doing spending that much time. But I I will try it <laughs> at some point. But I have so many other things I want to do right now and try and do so um, I was watching a few other videos a couple of you that are subscribed to me uh, have your own videos so I just wanted to see and oh my gosh you do a beautiful job I just love watching and everybody because everybody has something to show you something to teach you and it's all just a little bit different now we're going to switch to our 90 percent french gray and go between his toes because we don't want it too dark but we don't want it um so i know even with other uh things it's it's always best to use a darker color um, rather than black. Black is a very flat color that doesn't give um, I think sometimes the proper suspect as, uh, aspect of what you're doing where this gray it, it's more got more browns in it and it just kind of looks more like a shadow than um, a 
than it does anything. So let me just kind of move my keyboard out of the way. I thought I was ready. I always think I'm ready. <laughs> oh, let's see. Where is his foot? There it is. And um, when the light's right in your face, it's hard to see. So now I'm going to use this green okra. And I'm just going to kind of tap on it. I just want it to It's funny that you would use a green, but adding different colors in really, really changes a lot. I can hear the wind outside howling. But it's supposed to be in the 60s today, so that's a wonderful thing. We could take a little bit of wind. So I was just kind of shading with that one. I'm looking for the 70%. Lighten it up and bring it out. This is in a very kind of a dark place, so I want more. Of what it would look like if it was in a very shaded place. And I want to leave the side of his foot with a little shadow. And then I'm going to just come back with the, the light Sierra beige. And just kind of fill in just a little bit. So it doesn't look white, but it's light, lighter. It's lighter. Okay. I did not do this leaf, a stem to this leaf. So I'm going to take a green. I think this is apple. Yep. Oop, and I even didn't, I missed a, a leaf here. I missed a spot. I think I was getting tired. And I, I will always, always say, if you're tired, just, just stop. I made a a video yesterday and I got all the lines here and I have my big eraser what did I do with my little one well I keep them in this these little cans it's the big ones this is the little ones these all come with this eraser. You get a lot. I think it was, what did I say, $13? Okay. There we go. I like to kind of erase as we go along. And I just charged it up so it's it can go it could go fast. Okay. And then for his little tail, this is a little um I don't know if you can see it on the camera because things aren't as bright with my camera, but this is a, a little dandelion. So I just made it two shades of green and then I used my pasta pen and just um, did the little white on the edge and um, so we did all of this part 
Now we're going to do his, his eye. And I kind of like just shading it in with some of the colors. Oops. Even though I don't have a point and I can see which end has a sharper edge. So I'm just kind of putting a little bit of light around his eye and then I'm going to do the back part with one of the colors in him. I think that kind of makes it stand out a little bit more. And I had already used one of my pens, a micro pen, and I filled in his eye and I left his little spot open, but I haven't done his nose. So I was thinking about making it pink, but the other little guy's nose is black. And I did go over his whiskers to bring them back out a little bit. Sometimes these pins only work on the very, very, very flat part of them. And I'm not sure why. So I think I'm going to just dot all of his little freckles just to make them stand out a little bit more. I think I'm going to go over this little eyebrow here. I think I already did once, but I just kind of want to deepen it. I'm just looking to see what else we can do to him. So I still haven't decided if I like the little hairy things or not. And I, I guess it it's okay. It's not my best thought. So now we're going to use, I'm going to clean my brush. Every piece of paper, I'm writing down colors for something. Um, and I don't even know what these are for, what I was coloring. But it is very, very <laughs> important to have those colors written down somewhere but don't do like I do do um, write what they're for so we're going to use Rangers uh, distressed ink and this is an antique linen I uh, I'm going to use my little brush. These are my very favorite brushes. I love them. You get them on Amazon. Actually, I thought, oh no, I bought the wrong thing. I thought they were something else. But this was the best mistake I've ever made. I love these. You get them all different sizes and colors. So I just kind of feel my little brush. And then you could kind of start on something that's um, heavier where you're not like the sleeve and just start going around in a circle. And these, this is one thing about some of these little ones, I don't think they're putting much actually in them. Some of them are real juicy and some of them aren't hardly juicy at all. But they do... They will, if you just keep working with them, put down the color. So I just wanted to match up my, my little bunny to what I did with my little hedgehog on the other page. I'm going to avoid his tail because I really don't want to fill that in. And when you're pressing really hard because there isn't hardly any 
ink in these, and this is a, a brand new one. You smear just a little bit of your Prismacolor. But I'm starting to see it coming. You probably are starting to see it too, maybe. So I just kind of want to go all the way around him with this, this color. I heard a lady even singing on a live broadcast today. <laughs> I don't know if I could do that, but she was, and she seemed doing very content. If I start singing, I guess you'll know I'm, I'm content. I used to answer the phones for a, um, it was actually a diaper company that supplied all of people's diapers and depends and all that stuff and send it to their houses. But I was the person who answered the phone. I think there was five or six lines, maybe more. I don't remember now. Uh, but I did have a loudspeaker that went throughout the building, too. If you were on the speaker and I wasn't even thinking because I'm in this little office by myself and I started singing finally somebody said hey Georgia you're on the speaker we enjoyed your song <laughs> and then it happened again and I thought oh, okay I guess I can't sing at work the speaker would never be on unless you did something to embarrass yourself, right? Okay. I've gone all around him. I guess he's a him. And uh, I think I kind of smeared that a little bit. I don't know. Clean my brush off. And now I was just thinking, is there something else I want to do to the whole page? Do I want to put any more stencils? Do I want to leave it like it is? Do I want to add just a little bit more color somewhere? And that's what I was thinking about. So I'm going to grab my box. If anybody hadn't watched it, this is my Kessel Art box that I um, store all of my distressed colors in and some of the brushes. And when it got full, I decided I think that's enough colors for anybody. And so I said, that's all, folks. I ain't buying no more. No more. Okay, so you know, I'm thinking, I try to keep these back in kind of the color top. Not just because they're in there doesn't mean they are that color. But I was thinking maybe um, using um, one of these little stamps to put just a little bit of something on here. I'm not sure that that's what I want to do at all. There's some little stars little raindrops, little hearts, and these are just little dots 
but I'm just not sure that's what I want to do yet anyway. So let's try picking up one of these other colors. We got green. So what if we, is, do I have like an, here's a, let's see if it's that color inside. Where'd my paper go? My tester paper. That's pretty yellow. I don't know if I want to go that. Right. And I would just do a little bit. Like around the edge, maybe. Let's see if I'm in frame. This, you're not going to be able to hardly see this because. I'm tapping, and then on my paper, I'm just tapping to get most of it off, and I'm just going to softly swirl this. Do one tap on the paper so that I'm not making a glob. just I think just very softly add some color to the page it's hard to get down the middle I was looking up um, the um, you can buy this machine because you can buy these color books um, where they're on a spiral where you can actually take the page out and color if you wanted to. But um, I saw, I think it's like $35, which would be great if you had other things. See, I'm really not putting that much color. I'm just trying to make my page kind of, and then I can come back and put more somewhere if I want to. But by tapping, see, I don't get that. I did right there, but. Just gives it a soft, soft look around the, around the edge. That kind of warms up the whole book. I think I missed this corner up here. And I have this in there because I was it, it helps hold your paper in the back, my plastic sheet, in place, which makes it nice. Instead of constantly trying to... Um, push it in or you don't realize it's moved out and um, then you try to color and you get that line. That really, I don't know if you can see, it's, it, it's really soft. And I know sometimes my camera doesn't pick that up. Um, it just really softens. the whole look of the page. I like it. I like it a lot. This is a little bit darker that I used in here. This is a little bit more yellow. I, I, I think I like it. I don't know if I'd add any more. Or just leave it alone. You know, you get to that point, do I do I do just a little bit more? 
Let's see if I have, I'm thinking this is a um, rusty hinge. I'm thinking just on the very corners. Let's see if that's going to be too, too dark. I think that will blend. Let's let's try the corners. You know me, I'm willing to try even if it doesn't. Okay. Are we in in the I could put some hearts. <laughs> okay, so I think you can see okay. So where's my paper? I'm just, I just want to darken the very, very edge a little bit. I don't want it to come in. There we go. Now it's starting to. Just the, just the edge, edge. Like that of the four corners. Uh, let's try this one. I tried using this new microphone last night. It's supposed to drown out back room, back um, noises. And it messed up my video. I'd already had seven people looking at it before. Oh, I decided just to delete it. I, I just, it was, the video was good. So what I did, in case anybody, I'm doing the sky for the mushrooms. And I have drawn out just two of the mushrooms that I'm going to do that I said I would do. The orange one and that tall yellow one. I'm going to do it in a different color. And actually, I'm going to do it as soon as, well, I'm going to do an errand and then come back. I need to run to the grocery store. I'm out of my what do you, milk and I like these little flipper uh, yogurts where you, they got stuff in one side and the yogurt in the other that seems to satisfy my sweet tooth and it's got protein so okay I think I think I like it now am I done I don't know if you can see it or not the only way I would know is if I did this live and one day I will try that the only other thing I was thinking about is doing a little, just a little bit dark under, under their feet. So it looked like there was a shadow. Okay. I'm going to do this little guy too. don't know if I want to add anything else to it. I, uh, I think I like it. Like I always say, when in doubt, leave it alone. And I don't know if I can get you high enough to where you can see the whole picture. At least see it a little better. It makes a really nice if I can 
take you out just a little further. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it. I like it. Looks very, very soft and pretty. It's, it's darker, much darker than what it looks like on here. So for now, thank you for watching. And if anybody hasn't told you today that they love you, I do love you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for everybody that's subscribing and, and giving me thumbs up. Oh my gosh, I'm just shocked. I'm really, truly surprised at how well um and only a couple of people um saying anything that would um contradict what i said a couple of them um i checked it out and i found some alternative and i'm trying to um say what's right because I never want to mislead anybody I want to to enjoy yourself and have fun because I love these guys I think these are so cute <laughs> even if my bunny doesn't look fuzzy he looks like he, he has so a, a wild hair so I will I will figure out with something really thin I don't know I don't know I don't know what to do to make him better but I will figure it out, you know, so right now I'm leaving him alone and it might be just a, a sharper pencil and just little teeny, teeny, very fine lines that will um, bring him together better. And that's probably what I'll try to do. And so until next time, my next video coming soon. We'll see you there. Goodbye.